Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are here with my 2023 setup tour video. You guys always ask, you know, sort of what hardware am I using, how do I make videos, etc, etc. So normally once a year, uh, unless something major has changed, I run through a quick little update for you guys. Now, of course... Just quickly, before we jump into it, there will be some links, of course, to, you know, companies that I work with, affiliate links, things like that, uh, if you're interested in picking up any of the gear that I currently own. Of course, none of this is meant to be sort of showing off or anything like that. Of course, it's just you guys ask me constantly uh, of what wheels I've got and everything like that. So I thought today we'd just run through sort of the 2023 setup. You know, it's constantly evolving, it's constantly changing, but I'm pretty happy with where it is for the most part at the moment. One, I think... Quick warning before we go into it though, cable management, for those of you that get really, really upset about cable management, I've tried countless times before that there's too many cables to make it all perfect, so if, if you notice a bit of a spider's web in a couple of places, I do apologise, um, but needs must, I'm constantly having to swap things in and out, so it, it is what it is, and I apologise in advance, but without further ado, let's get into it then, 2023 setup video. So, we start this video like you do any good video, at the door, of course. Still got my little recording sign so my family know uh, not to walk in when I'm recording. And then as you enter the room, this is what you're met with. You can see there, it's, you know, it's an entire room dedicated uh, to sim racing, basically. Of course, got a lot of Formula 1 memorabilia and little bits and pieces like that. But let's go into the one uh, that you're most interested in. Of course, for those of you that follow me on various other social medias or, you know, just watch videos regularly here on the channel, you'll know that I recently picked up an all new rig. This is the Track Racer TR120. It's got various little bolt-ons and add-ons to it. Um, so you can see, for example, like the Fanatec mounting hardware Obviously, the GT style chair. Uh, I'm, I'm getting old. I don't want to mess around with Formula style seats anymore. They're just so uncomfortable. Um, you know, I've used them at various events and things like that. Definitely not for me. And as well, of course, for those of you that follow my racing channel, you know I do various other racing as well. Of course, on that, I'm still rocking Fanatec gear. Probably the question I get asked the most is, Matt, what is your steering wheel? It is the Fanatec Formula V2. I think they've updated it now uh, to the V2.5, but there will be a link uh, down in the description below to my Fanatec affiliate link. You know, a massive thank you uh, to all of you that already use my Fanatec affiliate link. Of course, uh, it does help me out, you know, when you buy products from them of course it costs you no extra money uh, but it does give me a little kickback so it is greatly greatly appreciated on that we have got the fanatec csl gt dd for those that don't know reels uh, wheels sorry this is just probably a lot of just random letters and numbers um that allows you to play on xbox playstation and pc uh, hence why i've got one of those i've also got the fanatec handbrake and shifter and then, of course, for all of you that gave me stick about my pedals, we'll, we'll dodge all the cable management behind them. Um, they are Fanatec CSL Elite V2s. Very, very good pedals. I've been pleasantly surprised so far. Then, of course, you can see I've got a fan uh, just to keep me cool. Unfortunately, I can't use it when I'm recording. Otherwise, the volume uh, gets picked up on my microphone. Above that, I've just got a TV and a monitor. It's just a standard LG 43-inch TV, nothing exciting. You can see just on the top of there, I've still got my trusty Logitech C920. I desperately, desperately need to upgrade that. And above that, it's just an AOC monitor as well that I've had for years uh, that now, hopefully, if I can get back into streaming, I can be able to put my chat up there so I can read what you guys are saying as well. Microphone is a blue snowball. This is definitely the thing I need to get upgraded next. They're getting quite old now, uh, and I think, yeah, it's time for a change. And you can see just on that little table as well, I've got a couple of mouse and keyboards uh, for each of my PCs. And yes, this, if the contrast wants to work, uh, is my all-new E 5G hub, which I've been test driving uh, over the last week or so. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I live in the sticks so 5G has literally just come to my town, um, so I'm testing that out, and so far it's been good. It might allow us to start streaming again on the channel. But yeah, that is probably the most exciting bit uh, for those of you that are interested. Fanatec Formula V2, CSL GT DD, uh, shifter, handbrake, CSL Elite V2 pedals. Um, so yeah, if you want to purchase any of those all in, I think including the cockpit, this is probably about £2,500, so it's not cheap. Um, but of course, this is my full-time job, so I would highly recommend it uh, if it's what you're doing. Uh, along from there, I mean, we've kind of got, I mean, we've got my ginormous hat collection that I think every video I've done 
uh, just seems to get bigger and bigger there. I've actually run out of clips around the top, so I've had to put a couple of them uh, as well a little bit further down. Uh, we've also got my Lewis Hamilton LH100. This, of course, was when he won the Russian Grand Prix uh, back in 2021. Of course, a special poster uh, commemorating, of course, that victory there. And it was actually a collector's edition run, uh, so I don't know if I can get close enough to it. This is going to be shoddy, shoddy camera work. Uh, you probably won't even go into focus there, uh, but you might just be able to see. No, it, it doesn't want to show it. Um, so I have got number 280 of 1000 there. So nice, of course, they're all uniquely numbered and things like that. Then we move around over to my editing slash podcasting space. I've got a Razer keyboard and mouse that I've had now for probably a decade. They might be the oldest things still standing in this setup, to be completely honest. Um, they, they just work still. They serve me well. And I've got micro keys set up on them uh, for editing as well there. Next to that is an Elgato Stream Deck. I've got the Stream Deck XL. Of course, I need to desperately do more things with that, um, but it's got various little keyboard shortcuts and bits and pieces. Uh, I've got a Steam Deck, which I need to use more because uh, it's a fantastic little piece of kit. And then if I'm having to edit on the go, I've got a Lenovo Legion laptop. I think it's got a Ryzen 7 and then a RTX 3070 or something in it. Um, so it, it does the job, it edits quite well uh, when needed. And then of course, just above that, I've got a few other bits and pieces. Rubik's Cube, never been able to solve it. Uh, I actually, well, I've, I've got two phones technically. Um, all of you that watch the No One Will podcast kept asking me, Matt, can you put it on Apple Podcasts? And I was like, yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. I can do that. Apple being Apple though, you need an iPhone for it. So I've got an iPhone 6 that my dad had probably about five years ago. Uh, and then my normal daily driver is a Samsung S21 Ultra. Yes, I'm an Android boy. I, I don't care what anyone thinks in this sort of battle. So I've, I've got both now, so no one can give me stick. And then next to that just is my ledger. So for those of you that are still into crypto, I know it's not the cool thing anymore. Um, but yeah, I've got one of those as well, of course. Not your keys, not your crypto. Above that, I've got an AO, uh, sorry, yeah, an AOC ultra wide monitor, uh, 3440 by 1440. Just I wanted an ultra wide for editing, and it has made a world of difference. So would highly recommend. And then just above that, I've got a Samsung 24 inch monitor as well that is just used as a second monitor. Further around, the ridiculous controller collection. Um, so PlayStation 5. Switch, Xbox, 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 uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3. Um, I've got the limited edition Forza Horizon one, which I do still quite like. And then next to that, I've got my old Fanatec uh, CSLDD motor as well. That one only works on Xbox and PC, but it's still in perfect working order. Uh, so if anything ever goes wrong with my other one, then I've got that ready to go as well. Above that is the rest of my steering wheel. So I've got two Fanatec CSL P1 rims. They do the job. If you're really on a tight budget, but you want to go Fanatec, they're absolutely fine. I've got the McLaren GT3 rim, uh, the PlayStation Gran Turismo one that honestly I've used once. Uh, they come with the CSL GT DD, and they're just a bit flimsy, uh, to be completely honest. And then I've got an R330, I think, attached to the... Um, Xbox Universal Hub, I think it's called, uh, but I've actually got a um, OMP rim. Uh, I, I managed to knack my R330 rim. No fault on Fanatec on that one, that was just me being stupid. Uh, so I bought one of those online, and honestly, I'd recommend doing it instead of buying one of theirs, because that's lasted a whole lot better. Then we move into the sort of final part of the setup, if you will. Xbox 360 it hasn't been turned on in probably about three years, but if I go back to classic F1 games, that'll be used. PlayStation 3, exactly the same story. I've got an Oculus Rift that I desperately need to reset up, or a Rift S, I think, sorry. Um, that, yeah, I desperately need to reset up. I wanted to do some stuff with F122 with that, but just never got round to it. Uh, on top of a PS4 Pro, uh, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One X, and then down at the bottom, uh, it always looks horrendous. Sorry, I've got a collection of chairs as well, um, just in case I have friends come round. Uh, people will always give me stick about this. I've got a PS5 wedged in <laughs> next to a PC as well. Um, cooling on it is absolutely fine. I know people will say you need to be more worried about the cooling on that. I don't tend to use my PS5 a lot, um, so it's absolutely fine sat in there and next to one of my two PCs. So if I just sit down quickly, of course, again, we're going to go back into technical jargon, but for those of you that are interested, tons of extra storage. Uh, I don't 
it, it's not like I don't trust the cloud. I just like having stuff backed up locally. Uh, so that one's got, I think, 50 terabytes in it. That one's got another 30 and then a couple of other external drives. This is my older PC. I've had this one now for about six years. So it's got a Ryzen 7 1700 uh, and a GTX 1070 in it. So nothing special anymore. And then this one, for those of you that watched last year's video, uh, was the Beast that I bought for 4K videos. So uh, Ryzen 9 5950X, 64 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3090. Uh, that if you watched my stream at the weekend of the Sebring 12 hours, you'll know I hadn't set up my 3090 properly on iRacing. So it was using three of the 24 gig of VRAM on there. Just got a couple of other little posters as well. You know, a quick shout out. My sister got me that one. Uh, and then I also got given that one as a gift. And then this one as well, uh, probably my favourite one, the Ayrton Senna 1984 poster. That was given to me by my good friend Kane as well, or Kane and Emma as well. Um, so a massive thank you to them. But yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. I thought I'd try and rattle through it a bit quicker uh, than I have in years gone by. Uh, video editing software, because I know I'll get asked, is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. I just prefer their scheduling uh, programs on it so I can stack videos up and then let them multi-render uh, in one go. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. So if you've got any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. This is, I mean, it's like I said, it's taken years of work, um, but it allows me to make multiple 4K videos uh, at a time. And of course, considering the fact I've basically been on dial-up internet uh, for the last few years, I've got a plan ahead and this really does allow me to and allows me to be incredibly productive as well. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure you leave a like, get yourself subscribed and we will be back very, very soon with more Formula One related content. None of these videos would be possible without the help of our channel members. So a massive thank you to all of the names you see on your screens currently for helping support the channel. You can join them by clicking the join button down below. And yeah, thank you once again to everyone that continues all the insane support on my work.